Hello, welcome back to my channel, Little Pink Casa. I'm Rosenda and I'm so excited to be doing a vlog today because I have not done this in so long. I used to do daily vlogs with my family on our other vlog channel and then I was doing a couple of them on this channel and then I stopped because it got really tiring. I love doing these type of vlogs where I'm holding my camera and it's just real life and a lot of you liked it too. I know you all miss them. My family, my daughter, my husband, we all miss doing that too. So it's kind of like I'm in between like, you know, I don't want to do it every day. Definitely don't want to do a daily vlog, but I thought maybe once in a while on this channel, I can do like a vlog um, of whatever happens because <laughs> I don't know. It's like that kind of, that's kind of how my daily vlogs were too. I think the best thing about why you probably liked it because it was very transparent and very real. And I just showed you what we did and um, you like that. It's the last day of October, so you will be seeing this in November and I'm so excited for November. November, I love November. I love Thanksgiving and it's one thing that I totally have loved since I was a little girl. So this is gonna be a busy month of November. There's lots of things going on, lots of things that we are practicing, a lot of rehearsals. Ruben and I and Hadar are all in the Nutcracker. It's the first time that she's gonna be in a ballet and you know, and, and, and the Nutcracker. So that's so exciting. I always wanted to wear one of those beautiful dresses. Those of you that know, I, I love the Victorian period. I love that time. And I have always wanted to just be like a Victorian caroler and sing, because I do sing. But I've always wanted to do that every year and I haven't done that. And then the other thing was I always wanted to wear a beautiful dress from that time and just um, be able to perform and just get into character like that. And so I'm so excited that I'm gonna be able to do that. And I already got my costume, I already got that fitted. So today I'm wearing a casual outfit. I'm wearing my jeans and a sweater. And this is actually a cardigan and I just um, buttoned it up to make it into a sweater. And I'm wearing a pearl necklace to give it a more feminine look. This is my cardigan from my 10 item wardrobe. It has pretty roses embroidered. So if you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. And then I'm wearing um, the same Lauren Carter jeans uh, with the rips. I don't have my shoes on yet because I don't like to walk around my house. We have a lot of carpet and I don't wear my shoes out until I go out. So I will show you the shoes I wear a little bit later. Um, but basically that's what I'm wearing right now. And then I have my pearl necklace that I love to wear all the time out. And then I will show you my makeup colors because this is one of my fall makeup looks that I've been wearing. Okay, so I decided just to come into my bathroom really quick and show you because my colors are here and it's silly to walk all the way over to my window. So for my eye colors, I'm wearing a color on my lid that's really pretty and it is called Sunlit Rose. I'm wearing the light color, which is like on my lid. And this is like a light color right here, and that is a uh, blossom. My lid, I put a little darker area in here, and that is called Merlot or Merlot. I'm not sure how you say that. My cheeks, I love this color. It's so pretty, and it's called um, Rose, just Rose. And what I'm wearing on my uh, lips is Mauve Moment. It looks like this. And you can barely see it in there, <laughs> but it's a beautiful color. That's what I'm wearing here. And then I have um, rosy uh, lip liner for my lips also. So as you can see, I have a very shiny face right now, very dewy. Um, I'm wearing a CC cream today, so it kind of gives me like a um, dewier look. So I haven't put powder on, and that's what I usually do to help just kind of fix that up. I just put a little bit of powder um, and then if I stand over here you can kind of see a little bit better my colors. The lighting from my bathroom hits right here a lot better and I really like these colors. They're so pretty especially this lip and it goes well with pumpkin and cinnamon and plum and um, burgundy maroon um, sage green all those good fall and winter colors. I don't stop wearing pinks in winter. I love pink still. I just kind of make it a little more mauvish and that's what I'm really into right now is with the burgundies and the plums and the maroons. 
And all these colors are Marion K, um, and I will link them below. Oh, and then on my nails, I did my nails today. It's called Romantique. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. It's like a pinkish mop. And this is by Revlon, so I'll link that also below. Um, I think I have it here. Let me just check really quick. Yes, okay, so right here. My bathroom's dirty, I have to fix it, still clean it, so don't mind that, but there you go. So that's what it looks like, it's so pretty. I also forgot to mention I'm wearing the black Mary Kate eyeliner right here. Um, and yeah, and then the lipsticks right here. So these are all the colors. I decided to bring my shoes in here, and um, not sure which ones I wanna wear. So I think I, I like these little um, beige little ballerina flats with this outfit but then I was thinking because I'm wearing this cute uh, sweater that I may want to do like um, this like the leopard so <laughs> I'm trying to say which which do I wear which one would be cute with this maybe the leopard okay so I decided on the leopard um, I think it's cute and I really like it so that's what I'm gonna do today. And um, I got my bag. I've been using this pretty tote. I, I keep all my like um, business things in here for my direct sales because when I'm out and about. Uh, and then my journal, um, my uh, to-do list, and my notepad. It's pretty, I can use this as my pretty tote. And it's pretty feminine and it's sophisticated and it goes with my uh, wardrobe for this season and um, my future wardrobe for winter. Sometimes I just want don't want to carry like a purse and a tote. So I'll just carry a tote. And then also if I have um, an appointment with a client or something, I can just do this and it doesn't look so um, like businessy and I can take this into the coffee shop or um, you know wherever I meet them and or at their house so yeah but I think it looks really pretty feminine put together so this okay so I have my water this is what I take with me water sometimes a snack but today no snack because we're gonna be out and about later and then um, my books my tote my purse right so I'm here in the car line at school waiting for Hadara to come out I usually drop off her friend too. So they had dance practice after school and um, this is a little bit later than normal, but it's because they had rehearsals. So yeah, so this is what I do, just waiting for her. And then after this, we'll probably go get Ruben. But I usually just sit down here and um, listen to a podcast or uh, write in my daily schedule or go over my um, to-do list or actually just do my Instagram stories that all of you know about which are my chats in the car that I always talk about to you and so if you don't follow me on Instagram you you need to follow me on Instagram because sometimes those car chats can actually be quite interesting and quite fun. for the week videos and Hadara's here with me my daughter and she's going to take my video mm -hmm. it's a pretty area and really bad lighting how about that and it, it's all wet here so I'm getting really wet okay Hadara ready mm -hmm. go ahead before I mash and mush into this ground Okay, so we're back home now and I decided I wanted to make the pumpkin bread that I never got to make in October and that is this pumpkin bread. So I got all the ingredients here. This pumpkin bread mix takes um, only eggs, butter, and milk. So I'm going to use vanilla almond milk and then I have three eggs here and then I have butter.
of times how I decide to do something, we either get hungry or I just want to just spontaneously bake or cook. And then the best times or the best things usually come out like that. So there's my oven, okay. Yeah, so that's what I do. And then um, hopefully this will be good. Like I said, this is the first time I'm using this recipe. So we'll see how it turns out. So now it's clean up time, clean everything up. And, uh, everything away. I thought I'd light my new candle for November because I haven't lit this one yet. And I always like lighting a new candle during this time. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Oh, it's blowing up. Yum. I have to clean my oven door. That's one thing I'm gonna have to do this week. I did clean my stove. I showed you on my Instagram stories that one day. <laughs> but now I'm gonna have to get in that oven before Thanksgiving, definitely. So I have my little fuzzy socks on tonight. Aren't they so cute? They like little, got the little balls hanging on the side. I feel so warm and cozy. Got my little apron. And um, actually, this is a vintage apron. I got this from my grandma and um, was handmade. So it's so cute. But anyways, it's time to take the apron off because I think I am almost done with everything. So I cleaned everything up. I have to just put the silverware away right there. And everything looks like it's mostly done here. And then... Um, just wait for this to come out and see if we can eat a little bit before the night's over. Okay, it's done, it's out, and it looks yummy. Don't it look good? Mm, gonna cut it and make it. Gotta wait for it to cool. So thank you for watching my video. That was a little bit of my day and I hope you enjoyed it. The beginning of November is here, so I'm excited. I hope you are and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.